So there was this high school student. He ended up never paying attention in class because the class was always talking about stuff that bored him. He went to music class and the music teacher literally would put on a classical music record. You may not remember what a record is, it was this flat round table. And the teacher would walk out of the room, go to the teacher's lounge, smoke a cigarette, come back and ask, how did you like the record? So this student had absolutely nothing to happen to him to stimulate him. So he looked out the window and daydreamed all day and dreamed of becoming a musician not like the kind that he was listening to or about in that class. His name was Paul McCartney. <laughs> story after story after story like that in this book. The book is called The Element, How Finding Your Passion Changes Everything. And this book is written by Ken Robinson. I'm going to say a little bit more about him in a moment. But he is a leading expert in the world on creativity. And he has some really pointed comments to make about our education system. But he really has a lot to say about finding your element, passion, flow. I've tried to summarize the book at the top. Our educational system honors only one form of intelligence and actually demotivates far too many. Finding what you really love and long to master, finding the element, is the true path to the longed-for future. I use the term the element to describe the place where the things we love to do and the things we are good at come together. This is profound. We place tremendous significance on standardized tests. We cut funding for what we consider non-essential programs. And then we wonder why our children seem unimaginative and uninspired. In these ways, our current educational system systematically drains the creativity out of our children. Businesses everywhere say they need people who are creative and can think independently, but the argument is not just about business, it's about having lives with purpose and meaning in and beyond whatever work we do. So I loved these two rejection stories. Paul McCartney was rejected by the choir of the Liverpool Cathedral. He wasn't good enough. It later staged two of his classical pieces. And Elvis Presley was rejected for his school's glee club. And Robinson wrote, they said his voice would ruin this sound. We all know the tremendous heights the glee club scaled once they managed to keep Elvis out. <laughs> what is creativity? It is the process of having original ideas that have value. Imagination is internal. Creativity is applied imagination. So you can be imaginative and then the result, the output, is creativity. Here is the question that we each need to ask. What do I care about deeply enough that I am willing to put in significant time over the long haul to get better at it? I think that's the question that we ask as we look for our passion our element. Hope you found it useful. Thank you.